What's going on guys? So I wanted to quickly go ahead and just kind of go over a quick, I guess, tutorial if you will, on how to lather a shave puck. So basically what this is, this is just a, the, um, I guess you could say the leftovers of when I made my other pucks. So basically kind of not the cleanest thing, but still does the job. It doesn't really matter as far as it looks, as long as the lather is good and it's, you know, glides well on your face as far as with the razor. So basically what you're going to need is the puck itself, okay? And then what you're going to need is the, uh, you know, some sort of brush that you're going to go ahead and lather that with. Um, basically after that, just the water and then going on from the straight razor, razor, however you choose to do it. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, shaving your face, shaving your legs, you know, the shave pucks are great for both of those. Um, personally, I do like shave pucks more um, than, you know, shaving creams and stuff like that. That's just my personal preference, just because of the fact that they last longer, in my opinion. Um, and I just feel like I get a cleaner shave, I guess you could say. But uh, let's go ahead and dive right into this. All right, guys, so what you're basically going to go ahead and do is turn on the water. What I normally like to do is basically kind of get my brush a little bit wet. Um, you can do hot water, cold water. I usually do hot water, hot warm. Obviously, you don't want to burn your skin, but basically kind of go ahead and rinse out some of that, bring out some of that. And from there, honestly, I can even wet this if I choose to, just to get that puck. So you can already see it kind of lathering up with my hand right there. Okay, so basically what you're going to go ahead and do is just grab your chisel. And start just whipping away. As you can see, you got that leather starting to build up in my hand. What you want is that nice, dense, thick foam. Okay. See that? Yeah. You want to see? Look at that. Push it down and just kind of slowly lift up. Kind of even suctions to it. That's how you know you're getting a good lather, right? And so from there, you know, the, pretending this would be my face or you know my leg or whatnot, you'll just kind of take it and apply it to the skin. Look at that. This also has a great scent, great fragrance. Like I said, you can feel the slickness on the uh, on the bar itself because we did put benton bentonite clay, so that way it gives that razor a nice slick edge. That way you can go ahead and you know it, the razor will basically just glide on your skin instead of you know tearing your skin apart. That's definitely not fun, right? So, all right, see, and there you go. And then when you kind of clean it off, and you do have that nice moisturizing properties as far as it as well. So that way you kind of get the best of both worlds. So normally with people with have pucks, they do have some sort of container that they put it in like a shave bowl or, you know, um, old containers. Like I, I have some couple old ones that I'll, I pretty much just reuse once I use run out of the shave soap. But uh, from there, like I said, just allow it to dry and it's gonna be good for the next time. You know, as far as the brush, just make sure you just kind of really rinse it out. Most people do with brushes do have a brush stand that way they can go ahead and clean it out, let it, you know, dry properly because you obviously just don't want to kind of set it back up. Waters are going to collect there. You want to make sure it's clean. You know, this is going down your face, going on your legs, arms, you know, whatever it is. Put your shaving. You definitely don't want to have a dirty brush. So make sure you always clean it out properly. But uh, as far as the shave soap, you can definitely check us out on, on our Etsy page on uh, Urban Frontier Art. Um, I'll definitely le link the description below. You can also check us out on Instagram as well, where I'm basically posting a lot of our pictures of what we're doing, the products that we're doing, um, you know, daily life as it is as well. And I don't want to waste water. But uh, definitely check us out on Etsy. I do appreciate you guys. So uh, let me go ahead and turn this camera back around. All right, guys. So I do hope you guys find that, uh, you know, that little shave puck tutorial, I guess you could say, uh, very informational. Like I said, go ahead and check us out on uh, Etsy. Check us out. You know, subscribe, like our videos on YouTube. Definitely kind of, kind of keep us in mind. You know, hit that subscribe subscribe button. Excuse me. Um, de you know, definitely appreciate it. That way, we can go ahead and keep on making some videos. We got a lot more content coming up. You know, like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing a lot more product reviews. You know, um, just backyard farm life itself. You know, just etc. Just kind of going on. Instagram, you're always gonna see that. You're always gonna see us, you know, posting what I'm doing, like I said, uh, what new products are coming up. So just in case you wanna keep, you know, even shoot us a message and we'll definitely chat for a little bit. Excuse me, but uh, if you all have any other questions, feel free to go ahead and uh, drop a comment down below, send us a message on Instagram and we'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, definitely you guys have a great rest of y'all's day and stay safe, especially with that quarantine, you know, depending, you know, where so many of y'all live, all right? Y'all have a good one.